Hello everybody. Just thought I'd take you through one of the new recipes that I've added to my free ebook today. So this is a lentil and vegetable soup. Great for the winter months. It's starting to get quite chilly here in Sydney. Uh, so I thought I'd take you through the recipe and also how to cook it in a kind of multi cooker um, that has like a, um, a slow cook function, a simmer function, those kinds of things. Okay, so let's get started. What we want to do first, we just want to throw, I've got this heated up. So I'm just going to throw some coconut oil into the crock pot and then I'll just put my onion in. So I've got uh, two small chopped onions here. The recipe calls for either two small chopped onions or one leek or eight spring onions chopped. So just some kind of oniony base is fine, whatever you have. And then we can just let that, let those onions cook just for like a minute or so. And then once they start to cook a little bit, I'm just gonna throw the curry powder in. So I've just got um, just plain old curry powder bought from the supermarket and I've got three tablespoons. So I'm just gonna throw that in. And give it a mix. So now I'm just gonna let that cook for about five or six minutes until it's kind of, you know, the onions cooked through and it's browned a little bit. Okay, then... so that curry flavor is releasing quite nicely now. So what I do next is I take the can of organic tomatoes, chopped tomatoes. So I can throw that straight in. Um, I've also got my red lentils, so these have been soaked for a few hours and the water was thrown away. Uh, so that's one cup of soaked red lentils. Straight in. And then we also have the stock. So I'm using bone broth in water, but you can use any kind of stock uh, or you can use um, just water, you just need to kind of get some liquid in there. So that's five cups. Just got some, um, just got some bone broth uh, concentrate kind of stuck down the bottom. So I'm just going to make sure that goes in. So just give that a stir. Make sure everything is mixed together. Okay, great. So now once that's all mixed together, we can move it from the brown sear setting to a simmer setting. So I'll just change that. Um, and we need to cook that for about 15 minutes. So I'll just set it for 15 minutes. And I'll put, I'll put the lid on so it boils faster. Okay, so it's been 15 minutes. I'll just take that lid off. Give it a little bit of a stir. So those lentils look nice and cooked. So now we can add the veggies. So I've already pre-grated and chopped. So this is sweet potato, carrot, zucchini, and broccoli. You can really use whatever you want, but these kind of root veggies, the zucchini, uh, cauliflower, broccoli, they all work the best in my opinion. 
So we can just throw it all in. It's a little bit messy. Okay. Now, it seems like a lot of vegetable, but actually it kind of cooks down. So just stir all of that. Once all of the vegetable is kind of, you know, at least semi under the liquid, that's all you want. Then you want to put the lid back on and we can leave it on the simmer setting. I've got it on high, it depends kind of how long you want it to take to cook, that kind of thing. And we're just gonna leave that to simmer with the lid on for about 10 minutes. Uh, you can leave it for longer, but the depth of flavor does kind of improve the longer you leave it. So you could actually turn it on to the low setting and cook it for say half an hour um, to, to br really bring out those flavors. And that's it. I hope you really like it.